We all go through stages where we just constantly feel like complete trash, and there are so many reasons why this happens. Maybe you're dealing with just one of these 15 or a mixture of many. Lots of us fall into that category. So we'll go through these together to pinpoint what's happening in your life and see what you can do to start feeling better. Here are 15 reasons you feel like crap and don't know why. We're starting with a harsh one, but it sometimes is the truth. Number 1. You're an a-hole. There is an excellent quote by Roald Dahl, and bear with us, it's a bit of a long one. A person who has good thoughts cannot ever be ugly. You can have a wonky nose and a crooked mouth and a double chin and stick out teeth, but if you have good thoughts, they will shine out of your face like sunbeams and you'll always look lovely. So why did we give that to you? Well, if you're constantly thinking shitty things or saying awful stuff to people, you're never going to feel good about yourself, ever. In fact, these insults are just a reflection of the kinds of things you secretly say to yourself. How's that for a harsh truth. Start loving yourself and then love others and pretty soon you won't be feeling as crappy. Number 2. You expect perfection from everybody, including yourself. Constantly striving for perfection is one thing, but when you expect everyone around you to be doing the same, it's a recipe for disaster. The end result is a compound effect of feeling like crap. You're frustrated with yourself, you're frustrated with others, they're frustrated with you, and it's a real waste of energy. American author Anne Wilson Schaaf sums it up perfectly. Perfectionism is self-abuse of the highest order. And another form of self-abuse coming up next is easy to fix. Number 3. You don't drink enough water. Hey Luxers, this one's easy to solve, yet you'd be amazed at how many people dehydrate themselves every day. And it's not because they don't want to drink water, they simply forget. So there are two easy solutions. Firstly, you can fill a 2 liter bottle of water every morning and make sure you finish it before bed. Or secondly, you can download an app that will send you a reminder every time you should have a sip of water. And yes, we know you need to get up and go to the bathroom more than usual, but that's normal and exactly what your body needs to function optimally. The extra pee breaks are just your kidneys flushing out toxins, which is a good thing. Now the next reason is a bit more complex, but certainly reparable. Number 4. You compare yourself to others. This is feeling crappy 101. Comparing yourself to other people. If this is something you do a lot of, it's time to start putting things into perspective because comparison is the thief of joy. And there's actually a biological reason why we compare ourselves to others. Professor of Organizational Behavior Thomas Musfeiler explains, It's one of the most basic ways we develop an understanding of who we are, what we're good at, and what we're not so good at. But instead of making your lack of whatever you feel like you're lacking a problem, celebrate others, be grateful for what you do have and compete with yourself, not everybody else. Number 5. You're not listening to your doctor. Hey Luxers, raise your hand if you're guilty of this. Not taking your medication properly. Whether it's a simple diuretic or antidepressants, you're never going to be functioning at your best if you keep forgetting to take the meds that you need. Medication can't work properly if it's not taken correctly. That's just common sense. Number 6. You think you can handle everything alone. Andrea Owen wrote a book called How to Stop Feeling Like Shit, where she delves into the many reasons why we feel crappy. One of the main points she brings forward is the more we rely solely on ourselves, the shittier we feel. Reason being, it creates a false sense of isolation, and nobody is going to feel super energized and loved if they feel isolated. It's a must-read described as powerfully on the mark. The chapters are short and digestible, nicely bypassing weighty examinations in favor of punch points of awareness. You you can listen to her book on Audible, who've teamed up with us to support the Alux community. Get your free download by going to alux.com slash freebook. Number 7. Imposter Syndrome the name might not ring a bell, but when we describe it, you'll no doubt have experienced it. You get a promotion at work, but deep inside, you truly don't believe you deserve it, that you're qualified enough, or perhaps not as qualified as someone else. You believe that you're an imposter in a role that's been assigned to you. Basically, you feel like a fraud. Not an easy feeling to get rid of, but you can start small. Accept praise when it's given. Be proud of your accomplishments, and accept that you're deserving of the new promotion. Otherwise, you wouldn't have gotten it. Number 8. You don't get enough sleep. 
The saying, sleep on it, is dang legit. Sleeping is so important, not just for regrouping before making a big decision, but as explained by Medical News Today, sleep is a vital, often neglected component of every person's overall health and well-being. It enables the body to repair and be fit and ready for another day. They point out other benefits too, including the prevention of excessive weight gain, heart disease, and shorter recovery times from illnesses. And before you go and decide to blame others for your lack of sleep, listen to our next point. Number 9. Playing the Blame Game Pointing fingers and trying to pin the blame on others for everything that's gone wrong in your life is just a complete waste of time and keeps you feeling like garbage. When we don't take responsibility for our actions, choices, and decisions, we will never grow, and when we remain stagnant with our finger guns pointed, we just feel crappy. As we said in our video, 15 of the most valuable lessons from Buddha, we can play the blame game all we want to, but ultimately it's our responsibility to take action in our own lives. Number 10. The food you're eating is crap. You may not even realize it, Aluxer, because even some of the healthiest looking foods on the shelves are crammed with preservatives. And while it's near impossible to escape them all the time, just be more vigilant with ingredients. Even a simple hummus, which is meant to be a healthier food choice, will have some form of preservatives added to it. If and where possible, make your own. Hummus is honestly just boiling chickpeas, adding a couple of extra ingredients, and blending it until smooth. You could even freeze your batch and look like a master chef when you're done. Really, you'd be amazed what you can whip up yourself if you just put in a little effort. Number 11. You take everything so personally. Truth is, not everything is about you, so just move on. There's an excellent article published on Psych Central where author Suzanne Kane says, I like to think that seriousness must involve an important situation or problem, not a demeanor I want to portray on an everyday basis. And that's important to take note of. If you go through life every day feeling serious and not seeing the humor in anything, you're just not going to feel great. Loosen up a little bit and start seeing the funny in the ordinary. We guarantee that with time, you certainly won't be feeling feeling as crappy. Number 12. You have zero empathy. If you're going through life with an attitude of me, 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 with zero care for the well-being of anybody else, deep down inside you can't be feeling very good about yourself. The problem with having no empathy is, well, shit runs downhill, it affects everyone and everything in your life. Lots of emotional outbursts you're impossible to reason with, things must always go your way, you overreact and can never admit when you're wrong. All of these things leave you feeling pretty crappy. If you think you have a problem with empathy, we strongly advise you to seek professional help because typically there is a root cause at play. The first step is acknowledging you have a problem and then the next one is to work on fixing it. And on the opposite end of this spectrum is our next point. Number 13. You're a people pleaser. Say you've had a hectic day at work and you've been looking forward to going home all day, having a glass of wine and spending time with your pets, and then your mom calls and asks you to come over and fix her internet. You don't want to let her down, so you go and help her. Here's the thing though, your mom could have survived a day without her internet, but you'll wake up the next morning feeling just as crappy and run down as the day before because you didn't get the rest you needed to perform at your peak. It's time to set up some boundaries because if you're honest, it might not be the internet the next day with your mom, but you'll need to help her with changing a light bulb, collecting a letter, or helping her decipher something on her phone. Look after yourself first so you can be at your best to help others. Number 14. You don't stretch. We're not expecting yoga every day, but it's vitally important you take a break from your computer screen often and stretch it out. Walk around and get a little bit of sunshine. We're not meant to be sitting in front of a screen day in, day out. Our bodies do not like being in the same position for so long. If you can, try and have a tech-free day once a week. We know it's not easy, but even if it's just a tech-free morning, it's a good start. Over time, it'll be easier to switch off your tech, and whenever possible, stretch your damn body. It needs it. Number 15. You're not honest with others, or yourself. Are you one of those people who post on social media all the time with your perfect images of your toned body, your ideal holiday, your perfect partner, picturesque house, and so forth, but in reality all of it is staged? It must feel pretty crappy trying to put up this perfect, well-off front all the time. Until you're content with your current reality, staging a life that isn't real is just going to leave you feeling even crappier. Be authentic with others and with yourself. It really is a superpower. 
All right, Alexers, what makes you feel crappy? Are you suffering from any of the 15 we just mentioned? Share with us and join the conversation in the comments. And of course, you stuck with us until the end, and that means you're getting a bonus. One more reason you're feeling like crap and maybe don't know why. For many of us, we are the masters of self-sabotage, and it's only our own intent that can get us out of the self-sabotage mode that we're so reliant on. If you're a prime example of someone who self-sabotages, you're not alone. Abraham Lincoln, Fred Rogers, Michelangelo, John F. Kennedy, and George Washington all went through the same thing, and they still did well. The most common form of self-sabotage is mindless distractions, like binge-watching TV, endless gaming, or internet shopping and social media. If you can work on doing these activities less and less, you'll quickly be able to work on other areas of your life that are keeping you feeling crappy. Thanks for watching, Alexer. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more daily content.